Okay. In this short video, I'm going to go through how we can set up a TCP client and a TCP server to just test a little bit of C code here. So over here, we have our code. We have our TCP echo server. All right, the way this works here, we define our variables. We set up our initialization here. We use these variables here to establish a connection to the server, right? We want to have a server socket, a client socket, and then a server address and a client address, right? The two of them are going to be able to go back and forth and communicate with each other. Now, we get to the point where we establish the server port, and then we check to see, we want to see if there's any incoming connections. After we do that, we're going to go through here, we're going to bind the local address, then we're going to mark the socket so that it can listen to incoming connections, and then in this for loop, we're going to check to see if there's any messages. And then if there isn't, you know, it's just going to keep repeating. Otherwise, it'll throw an error. So that's TCP echo server. Now let's go to TCP echo client. TCP echo client is similar. We have this initial block here that sets up all the variables. Then we process the command line arguments. The command line arguments for the program are going to be the server IP, a message, and then the server port. So for me, personally, it's easiest to just use the local host here. We're going to go through this, right? So we have the server IP, then we have the echo string here. This is the argument that we're passing in. And then we want to be able to check for the port that we're going to be using. So typically 8080, if you wanted TCP IP, then we're going to create a reliable socket stream here. Then we're going to create the server address to the socket. Then we're going to establish connection to the echo server. Here we send the string to it. Very important here. So you want to have the proper carriage return. You want to check to make sure they have the proper carriage return when we actually send this. Uh, so this is going to get sent over to the server. We're going to check to see how many bytes are received. After we receive all of the information, we're going to go ahead and print out uh, what's been actually received. To run this program, we have a simple make file. This make file takes two lines here, right? We use the standard GCC compiler, which should work on any machine. And then we have a, uh, the GCC compiler here again. So we're compiling the server as the combination of these three C files. And then we're going to create the client as a combination of these two files. After you have run make inside of this, the next step here is to actually run the code. For me personally, I'm using bash. So I'll go up here and I'll go ahead and I'll start the TCP echo server at 8080. Server's running. Now I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to run TCP echo client. I'm going to do 127.0.0.1. And then I'm going to do hello. And I'm going to run on 8080. Okay, so first try here. Something's not right. Let's go ahead and go up here in the commands and then just make sure that we have the TCP echo client. So if we run this, it's going to print out the usage. The usage here is saying that we need the server IP, we need our word, and we need our port. Let's go ahead and run this again, TCP echo client, and then we're going to go ahead and type the server here, 127.0.0.1, and then hello, and then we're going to do 8080. There we go. Packets received. Awesome. Well, give this a shot. Hope this is informative, and keep programming.